Good morning and welcome to another episode of Business Beat with me, Odette. We all know that marketing is at the core of every successful business and more so for small businesses. Out of sight will mean out of mind, especially because consumers are spoiled for choice given the growth of the internet. Today with me is the esteemed Andy Rice. Welcome, Andy. Thanks, Odette. Nice to be here. Thank you for the invitation. Oh, it's so awesome to have you with us. Andy, we all know that it's very, very important for a small business to have a solid marketing strategy, right? And in your mind, tell us what are the three or four topmost tips to include in a business strategy, particularly for a small business? Well, you're right. Um, marketing is the key to competitive advantage. Mm -hmm. and uh, you, you can't get the kind of uh, advantage that, that a strong brand will deliver anywhere else in the business. Yes. So you really need to invest there. Um, as far as tips, well, I could be here for hours with tips, <laughs> but I think just to keep it down to the basics, um, we're all familiar with, with the expression, um, knowledge is power. Yes. Well, I would start there if I were setting up a new business or mm -hmm. running a small business, uh, because knowledge makes all the difference. And it's not just knowledge of the world, it's mm. knowledge of specific things that help you build a strong brand, which is what you're trying to do with the mm. marketing. Um, and, and the knowledge would be know your customer. Yes. Know all about your customer's behavior, not just in the category that you're competing in, but every aspect you possibly can of the kind of person you're trying to reach. That's know your customer. Know your market. Know what's changing, where things are growing. Is technology coming in? What are the changes that are happening there? So know your market. And lastly, know your own brand. And yes. you'd be surprised how often that's not the case. Mm. You really need to know exactly what makes it different to anyone else um, and, and where the advantage lies, because it may not be in the usual way. There's no point in just copying the market leader. They don't, the market doesn't need another one. They've got one. Absolutely. So you have to look for your point of difference. And then you have to make sure that you can deliver against that promise, because that's what a brand is, a promise made, and a promise kept. I think the big problem with businesses small and large when approaching marketing is they adopt a very academic approach to engaging with the consumer or to understanding the consumer. Often, the consumer is either yourself, someone in your family, someone in your friends, someone in your community. And if you just look at how they behave when they purchase a product, you can mimic consumer behavior. Yeah. You don't have to be a guru um, in consumer behavior to understand how a person will purchase a particular product. Yeah, you're so right and about the academic issue because that also relates to a sort of close discipline, which is market research. Yes. And market research is all about getting out there um, as a researcher, perhaps with your clipboard, doing mm -hmm. all the usual stuff. But um, too many brand owners use research um, as an alternative to actually getting dust on their shoes and... Mm. Um, you know, they say that a desk is a dangerous place from which to view the world. <laughs> and I think that's the lesson that most of us should learn. Get out there and talk Absolutely. to people. Absolutely. Talking to people, asking the right questions. So Pumzile from Randberg says that she has a small catering business. She says that she doesn't have a lot of money for advertising, that she does a lot of catering for weddings, for funerals, for functions that are large as well as small. And she's asking if using business listing services um, online services are still um, relevant and will it help her grow her business? Yes, I believe they are still relevant, but it's, it shouldn't be everything that you do, yes. um, you, but you have to make sure that people can find you. If they hear about you or you are running advertising somewhere else, they need to know how to contact you mm. because otherwise it, you might, they might as well not know you at all. So you need to be in the basic listing places. That used to be exclusively yellow pages. Mm. Now it's uh, all sorts of online services with Google being the obvious front runner. And Tracy in Umschlange is saying that she's a life and business coach. She's asking how to build an established base of customers because she says she's been advertising on social media. She says she's just not getting the desired results. And she said that she heard that um, blogging to promote her business may be a good idea. What are your thoughts on blogging? Yes, blogging can do that if you have a really strong message and a really authoritative understanding of the category, then you can convey that in your blog and people think, oh, there's someone who knows her stuff. Um, maybe that's the person I should go to. But I do think that you can um, also use 
uh, word of mouth and what mm. they call testimonials in the same space because if, if, if Tracy is finding it hard to get new business in, mm -hmm. maybe she needs to use the people who have already experienced what Tracy can do. Right. So they would say, I've, I went to see Tracy and she turned my business life or my personal life around through her coaching. And that makes people feel they're taking less of a risk. And marketing actually is about reducing risk. And it's, it's so simple. I see a lot of business coaches, life coaches, career coaches advertising on LinkedIn, very academic um, advertising. I think that a differentiator would be somebody who just talks English and says to the ordinary person, hey, would you like to improve your career? Do you feel that you're not going forward fast enough? You know, instead of, have you considered cerebral, whatever, whatever, you know, yep. it's so academic. And that's especially true in a field like life coaching because you're actually asking the customer, the client, to expose their, their abilities, their thoughts, their preferences, their values mm -hmm. to the coach. And it's almost like therapy, I suppose. Absolutely. You, you need to be prepared to be brave enough to do that. And mm -hmm. you won't do it to any person who walks in off the street. Mm -hmm. And that's why if you can get the recommendations of others who've oh, been there and, yes. and appreciated the value that, that, that Tracy gave, then that's a very, very good place to start. I think we've got time for one more question. Lesejo from Kailicha is asking about his garden service business. He says that since lockdown, his business is not doing as well as it did last year. He says he doesn't have a website and he's been told about Google Ads. Should he be using Google Ads um, to get business leads? And what should he do um, to grow his business? Yeah, I sympathize with Lesejo. It's a hard time to be running your own business. Mm. But if we go back to what I said at the beginning about knowing your brand, mm -hmm. I think Lesejo would be well advised to stand back and have a, have a look through non-critical eyes and through a, a customer's eyes at what services he can offer. Because mm -hmm. it may be that for, for the foreseeable future, he needs to move away from garden services because the market has, has, has shrunk and find some other way to use the assets that he's got. So you mm -hmm. might have a vehicle, a bucky. Right. Which would not be used five days a week, seven days a week at the moment. Yes. So maybe he can get some revenue out of that, set up a delivery service, hire the vehicle out to others. Mm. So that kind of thing. He, he must look and see, I've got these assets. They're currently being used for a garden services offering, but maybe I need to use them for something else because they're paid for already. I own them. I know how they work. And what about, um, I would say before going all the way to a website, wouldn't it be better for him to go onto a community forum perhaps and to, as you said before, generate some word of mouth yeah. and collaborate? Perhaps there's a pool cleaning service um, that is existing and to, Great idea. You know, yeah. to offer collaborative yes. services with yes. other small businesses. So you become a kind of outdoor services Absolutely. consortium. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. yeah, okay, good one. Yeah, you know, I think that a lot of businesses during lockdown have got to re-look at their business yeah. um, and take a really creative look at what they have and what they can do and repackage and repurpose it so that they can sweat their assets as, as such yeah. Yeah. and um, create a name for themselves. Because if Lesejo is able to go in with a pool service to a client, right, um, he may find that they also have some rubble removal exactly. or a delivery service, as you say, and then one day he's doing garden service for a particular client, the next day he's doing rubble removal for that same client. So he's getting twice the amount of revenue out of the same client by and just twice being... twice the recommendations. Absolutely, and twice the recommendations for just yeah. being really um, yeah. creative and strategic. Yeah. So it's clear that strategy is important, probably the most important thing in marketing, but making strategic decisions about the creative use of your assets and your services from both the consumer side as well as the business owner side is what really is the recipe for success, right? Creativity, not just in the conventional sense of a creative advertisement or yes. a creative Pretty design, pictures. but creative thinking. Always say, yes, that's the way everybody does it. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can do it slightly differently mm -hmm. and stand out from the crowd that way. Awesome. And so, viewers, it's evident from this discussion that without a solid marketing strategy, you can't hope to have a successful business. Marketing strategy, marketing for your business, and success will follow. Until next week.